Hey guys, how the hell are you? Welcome back once again to the October festivities here at Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold, and tonight, I drink. So tonight, having something very, very much more traditional. This is probably, arguably, one of the gold standards by which all other fest beers must be measured. This is Polliner from München. This is their Oktoberfest beer. The original from Munich Oktoberfest. Loud and proud on there. Germany's number one Oktoberfest beer. Also loud and proud on here. This is a 6% alcohol by volume fest beer. Has an extremely light golden color, very reminiscent of a pills actually. So already that's considerably different from uh, what I've been having in a lot of these other fest beers. Let's go ahead and go in for the aroma. Super crisp, very, very clean. You've got a little bit of a lemon zest thing happening in there. Not a huge amount of malt or anything. Definitely not yammy, no spice or anything to speak of. Just really, really fresh in there. Just a little bit of like a stone fruit note. There's just a little, the faintest little whisper of like maybe pear that's in there. That is interesting. Okay. Let's go in. Mmm. In the flavor, there's this out of nowhere, and this is totally unexpected for me because it's been a long time since I've had a Polliner Oktoberfest beer. I've had this before, but maybe my palate wasn't as developed back then as it is now because now all of a sudden I'm getting the faintest little hint of kind of an apricot brandy note that's in there. This is not a super high ABV beer, so don't mistake what I'm saying for like booziness. It's definitely not boozy, it's only a six percenter. But what I am getting out of it is that same sort of apricot alcohol sort of pinch in the back of your cheeks, that sort of ever so slight tannic dryness that's happening. Kind of the same thing that you get a little bit with that sweet apricot brandy. Again, a little bit of that in here mixed in with that sort of grassy note, mixed, mixed in with that lemon zest just a little bit. It's very refreshing, extremely crushable, which <laughs> makes sense considering what this is. Even as I speak right now, there's probably a bunch of dudes in Lederhosen who are just getting absolutely fit chased drinking this right now in Munich. This is really, really good. It's really, really refreshing. It's definitely something that, honestly, I could see myself drinking this all year. It's that refreshing, it's that crisp. It's almost a shame that it's kind of a seasonal thing. I would be curious to know what really is actually different about this versus just normal polliner in particular like their pills because i know their pills is a little bit cleaner a little crisper this has just a ever so slight maltiness to it compared to that but even that slight maltiness in the flavor is still very noticeable let's go in again and out of nowhere on this sip just has a little bit more breadiness to it a little bit more body to it and that is not a bad thing at all the finish on this versus all of the fest beers that I've had up to this point so far during shooting these videos, this has probably been the one that has the most lingering finish, even over that one that had the higher ABV. This one just lingers a little bit longer and it's very, very pleasing in that respect. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, tons more of this content to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, do not take yourselves too seriously.